This is a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine, uh, Mimi. She's a neighbor. And uh, we're very close. Uh, five and a half feet close. <laughs> you see, that's exactly how far Mimi's driveway is from my kitchen window. Mimi is young and uh, vivacious and, well, attractive. But Leo, Mimi's husband, thinks all men are very attracted to his wife. <laughs> You'd think Leo'd be happy. I mean, attractive wife, a lovely home, a successful construction business. But poor Leo was uncontrollably jealous. <sighs> He'd park down the street and watch the house with binoculars. He'd make surprise visits during the day. He asked her to phone him at work if she wanted to go out. One day, I saw Leo sitting across the street with his binoculars when a silver Cadillac convertible pulled into the driveway. Was this his worst nightmare coming true? He hoped that a woman would step out of the car, but no such luck. A tall, dark, and handsome hunk of a man got out. Leo tore his hair. Ding dong. The door opened. Mimi smiled. The man stepped into the house. The door closed. Just when Leo was about to bust a blood vessel, the front door opens, and Mimi and the hunk stepped out slipped into the Cadillac and drove away. You should have seen Leo scramble to start up his motor. Leo was sure Mimi was leaving, but all they did was drive around the block. Mimi got out and missed his stunt and drove away. For the next two days, Leo camped out in the bushes at the side of the house, and he decided if the man in the Cadillac showed up. But nobody showed up. On the third day, Leo went out pretending to go to work. Smooch. Door closed. Leo drove a block, snuck back to his hiding spot in the bushes. And before he could get the top off his thermos of coffee, gorgeous George showed up. Leo had to crouch in order to peek in through the window. Mimi was sitting at the table, her back to the window, and the hunk was standing close to her. Leo was not about to stand by and watch this fella ruin his life. Fortunately, Leo knew he couldn't really hurt the guy, but he had a plan for doing the next best thing. Leo got back to his car and drove to the construction site. Within minutes, he was on his way back home, this time driving a huge cement truck. Leo laughed when he saw that the shiny new car was still in his driveway. He backed the cement truck into the driveway and aimed the cement spout into the front seat of the Cadillac. He felt pretty smug as he watched the entire car fill up with wet cement. Mimi and her handsome friend came racing out of the house. They couldn't believe what Leo done. Mimi started to cry. In Leo's mind, there was only one thing wrong with the picture. It was the man who owned the Cadillac. He should have been outraged. Leo was ready for him to roll up his sleeves and have it out, but the man just stood there, kind of casual, shaking his head. Mimi stopped crying long enough to say, Happy birthday! and ran back into the house. The man explained he was a car salesman, and Mimi had just purchased this car for her husband as a birthday surprise. He patted a fat envelope of thousand dollar bills inside his jacket and said goodbye. It's a true story. It happened to a friend of a friend of mine. As for Leo, by the time he recovered from the shock, the cement had hardened, and the car to this day is the largest lawn ornament on the block. <laughs>